I'm here with a different video. In this video, based on the request that a uh, few of my, on the comments that I got, how to change your hard drive for your PS3 and how to open it up and re remove it. So I'm just gonna get into it really quick and show you guys how to open it up and how to remove the hard drive. And you can also replace it with an SSD drive to make it a little more faster to open up the games. And also, if you want to, you can put a mechanical hard drive. These are the, you can grab any SSD drive, doesn't matter, as long as a SATA uh, hard drive has a SATA connectors, or you can just grab a normal mechanical hard drive with the same profile. So I would really recommend you guys go with the SSD drive for these ones. It's much, much faster than the mechanical drive, but depends. I'll leave the link in the description. Also, after replacing the hard drive, you will need to reinstall the system for the dashboard for the PlayStation 3. And also, I will leave the link in the description where to click and the steps by steps. It will show you how to um, put up back again the system for your console. So you will need a memory stick or USB drive, about 8 gigs, I believe, to do the process. So let's get into it. First thing first, you want to grab your PlayStation, you want to flip it upside down. On the bottom side, on the front end, you're going to see this tiny panel here, which has a little notch right there. You see that little notch right there? What you want to do, you want to use your fingernail, just put it right in there and just like a can opener, just pull it up. And once it's up, there's a little bit of plastic so it doesn't will come out, come out. just don't yank it up, just need to let it loose. Just lift it up, pull it to one side, and you're going to see a blue screw right there. What you want to do, you want to grab your screwdriver. I use the iFixit tool set, and I'm using the bit number one, Phillips. Phillips number one. So what you're going to do, you want to remove that screw right there. So there's a screw right there. Once we remove the screw, what you want to do, on the front side, you want to slide this one towards the corner. So slide the cover towards the corner about, about I would say about a half a centimeter. Or just, it will stop. It just won't go anymore. And then just lift it up. You can go ahead and clean it up. Next, you want to grab this uh, thing right here. And then you just want to pull on it. And that's the caddy that comes out. And right there, there's the hard drive, and it's really dusty, so grab it and clean it up, clean up the dust. I have a link in the description how to clean up your PlayStation if you need to. I'll leave the link in the description too. Once you have the hard drive out, and here it says this is a 120 gig, so we can replace it with a 500 gig SSD. In order to replace it, you need to remove four screws at the bottom of the caddy. So go ahead and remove the four screws. All right, now that we remove the four screws, what do you want to do? You want to grab it, grab a flat heavy screw. I'm going to use whatever number. And what do you want to do? There's a little bumper, metal bumper right here. You want to open it up just like that, a little bit. Just open it up, pull it up bend it upward, and then the hard drive should slide out. This thing will just prevent, it holds the hard drive from the corner so it will not slide out. So slide the hard drive out, grab the new hard drive, place it in. If you don't know which way it was going in, so just remember the four screws has to go underneath the hard drive. It just goes right in there. And once you have it in there, Close it up, close down, just it's very soft metal, so just push it down, hold it, and put the four screws at the bottom. I always do a cross stitch, always. Just a little habit that I got. Always for the heat sinks or for everything else. There we go. Once you have the screw right there, Everything is ready. You just want to 
put it down in front underneath and just slide it all the way down once it's all the way in grab the, the screw grab the cover put the cover in an offset position just like that let me move this out of the way just like that and then it slide all the way in and then put the last screw back underneath and once you turn it on it's going to show you that there is no system what you need to do to go to the link in my description and uh, follow the steps on uh, putting back in to reinstalling the system on your new drive and trust me guys ssd is much much faster than the regular mechanical drive and you're going to see a big difference loading the games all right thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video